something good. Excuse me, I, I missed what you just said. Who recommended these three times? I'm sorry? Who did you say recommended these three times? Recommended, if you will go to our website, you will find the consultant's report that was happened about, what, at Dixon now, two years ago? Yeah, 2009. No, no, no. This was a special report that was actually asked for by the city to look at potentials for this sort of activity, okay? And that report came back. They did a very, we think, did a very fair job of looking at potentials. Uh, and these are the study sites they recommended. And well, that's... I do know the angle does not pitch our angle, but, uh, yeah, but go look at, this, at the report. You'll find the sites of the ones that they are recommending. Can you tell us what entity recommended that in the city? It's, call, the, it's called the Angle Group, no, I think. Who, who from the city did this study or requested this study? Dixon, do you remember? Uh, the study was, was requested by the, and, and paid for by the chamber and funded by the three sponsors of the city. Yeah. That children, excuse me, the city UALR and UAMS. Right. The city played no role in, in actually sponsoring any of this or paying for any of it? The well, the city was, was one of the three sponsors. Yeah, the city was one of the three sponsors of that report. So, Mr. Platt, which, which consulting firm are you referring to the patients? Our neighborhood is one of the three. I'm not mentioning a, a, anyone that mentioned your neighborhood. The, uh, the, the angle report, which is the only report, um, well, I'll mention three example sites. Its charge was not to do a site study, right. but to recommend some examples. And uh, the uh, three examples included two of the three study areas now, and then one on the west side of Jonesboro Drive. And, and the current study area, in your neighborhood is on the east side. Correct. Right, so it was not specified in the angle report. No, and, and their report wasn't charged with site, site evaluation. Right. It was only to give us some examples. Yes, ma'am. Yes, of the three sites, which one is the closest? Uh, uh, the one that you've already done. What site is that? Because this is the way we're going to choose. You really no, all three of them fit the criteria that all we have put down. Yeah. So we will wait and see. All three of them. We're not going to make we're not going to make a decision today. I and we're not, and but are you telling me that all three sites All three of these sites are within the very same distance. Didn't say that. I said that they are all within the constraints that we wanted for the site. And you want five minutes? We'd like to, but we'll see what we get. And all three are but, about that. Yes, yeah, that's right. So, they are. Mm -hmm. And you AMS? Yep. In fact, this site is closer to those two than well, any yes. of the others. Yes, it yep. is. Right. So, it's anyway. That's right. But so let me go to the next topic because I think particularly with respect to Senator uh, Elliott's uh, uh, question, it, it will speak to that. Uh, w the, the board, I think, needs uh, additional um, input uh, and one of the consultants, uh, one of the individuals that was with that consulting firm uh, is an extraordinary uh, expert on looking at these sorts of issues and including the kinds of questions that uh, Senator Elliott asked about the impact on neighborhoods and things like that. Uh, and what we are, are, are going to recommend, to the, what we're going to recommend to the board today, uh, and we'll take a vote on that, is uh, to engage Diltz Consulting. Uh, Charlie Diltz is the principal, uh, and have him come. He is familiar with these because he was part of that original report and have him come and look at the questions, the kind of questions, uh, Joyce, that you are asking, okay? And come back with that information as well as the engineering report because those are really two separate things in some ways, okay? Uh, so, uh, Dixon, would you like to say something about this particular contract if we can negotiate with Charlie? Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, Charles Dilks was a member of the Angle Technology Study Team. He's not an employee of Angle Technology, but he was a contract member of their team. And his charge, or his role in their study was to, to 
uh, be the uh, expert with respect to to park development and financing. His background uh, is in the, the management and the development of research parks uh, over probably 30, 40 years. He was uh, head of the, uh, he was the director of the Philadelphia Science Park for many years and most recently has been assisting and advising the uh, Piedmont Triad uh, Research Park development in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Uh, I'm, I'm recommending that the board authorize his engagement and uh, to do so on a very uh, limited basis uh, to allow him to come in for two visits and to, to consider the engineering results of Grafton Toll and to advise the board uh, based on his evaluation of the of the uh, engineering report and other considerations so he can make a recommendation uh, to the board. The, uh, the two visits and sometime uh, in his own uh, office uh, with working with the information plus travel time I would uh, propose that we authorize a not to exceed ten thousand dollars total and to authorize his engagement and if the board uh, agrees to do that I, I, I'll have a second motion with respect to the to the meeting schedule and in the relationship with the engineering report uh, presentations before uh, I guess it's part of the motion, I would move the engagement of uh, Dillis Consulting uh, and as part of the motion would state that it's impractical and, in, and unfeasible to invite competitive proposals because of the small amount of the, of the engagement and, and the unique background that he brings uh, in familiarity already with what's been done and that would you consider that my motion on the table okay thank you sir do we have a second and then we'll have a discussion a second okay we have a motion on a second senator johnson has seconded it uh comments and questions from the board i i, I have a couple or maybe at least sort of one comment that i think it relates questions on the floor. If, if we're going to have a consultant participate in evaluating the impact of the decision to place uh, the, the research park in any one of our departments, I think it's important that we know if this consultant is going to be able to uh, create a census that tells who owns the property. Is the property owned by speculators? Is the property owned by out-of-town uh, landlords? Or if the property is owned by people who've been in the community for years? I'd like to know if we have um, widows, and I'd like to know if we have individuals that are fixed income in some of the properties. I'd like to be able to understand how many children may be in that. <laughs> like to know if we have individuals who've stayed in the community and continue to upgrade the property so that we really get an understanding and assessment of the impact to the residents because I think that that's one of the questions that I may have heard yeah. so there's so, so that's what I'd like to put on the table okay. uh, I I think your 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 question is absolutely right on uh, in some ways uh, to do that much detail we probably need to, uh, once one has made a 
selection or what you think is going to be your selection, then that's the kind of thing that absolutely has to be done for that section. But I don't know, Reverend, whether you think we should do that for all of the sites or should we do it's it's going to take a lot of effort to do it for all of them or do we do that for the site that gets selected so we understand what we're doing and then you may choose not to do that selection if it turns out that the information is not what you thought. Well earlier you said you didn't want to get people that don't need to be yeah, but that's that's my point. Yeah. That, that's that's my point. Exactly. Okay. Well, now, if I could please follow up, because this was what I was going after, not asking the question. And I, I don't know if I'm misunderstanding the timeline, but if, it, if the engineers are going to give their report mm -hmm. and, make a, and make a recommendation, and is they're not making a recommendation. All they're going to do is give us their report on the three sides. Oh, when they give their report, and the reason I was asking about the people in that, it seems to me the report would not be complete if you don't have that part of information. That's the point I was making about, I understand about the three institutions. That gives us a sense of how their interests are served. And I don't know how we're going to be, the board will be able to make a, a decision without complete information because you won't have if you just decide on the board, I I hear you. then you do that, I think you're going to be missing something. So I think you're exactly right. If you're going to do it, it is going to have to include all the sites. Senator, um, that may be what's necessary, but we're also charged with being that, yeah, I know. stewards of the public funds. What? That, 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 that's not true. Yeah. That's, I was contemplating in this recommendation. I think what they need to do is that will tell us whether any of the sites are not feasible. That the engineering report and you can't afford it. With the modest amount of talking about the Duke's evaluation of their report and it's survey the area and, and can, to come up with a recommended site and then that recommended site would be the one where we did all the title work, find out who who are owner occupants, who are uh, absentee uh, owners and the details to see then the to get into the human side of that site uh, at the local level. But what, I, what, I, what I'm not seeing in this is if you had the human side of the sites before, uh, before you started all your contemplations, that could help but give the board a more rounded picture of what they should do. And, you know, I, with all due respect, you know, I really, like everybody else in this room, have great respect for being good stewards of the public's money, but it just does not, does not supersede what will happen to real live people as opposed to dollars. That's, I mean, I, I yeah, always uh, 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 yeah. Senator, I, I, I don't disagree with your comments, but the issue is that, uh, first of all, all of these sites are bigger than what you're going to end up taking. Uh, and uh, if you tried to do that for all of these sites and, and the entire area that all of them do, uh, this is a huge undertaking and very costly. And we just, but, but the point is, the, there will be, we, you don't make a final decision until you have that information. And once you get that information, you, your first choice may not be what you choose. So I'm, and I'll, I'll leave it at this because I don't want to knock okay. this, but um, so you settle on a site, mm -hmm. the board, and then you come out. You do the due diligence on that site. And you do due diligence, and what I'm, what's the point of it then? Because are you then going to, no. are, are you saying to me that perhaps at that point you would say, when Dilts does the consulting and comes in and gives a report, that we might say, well, what Bills has said really trumps everything that has been said by the engineering department. Very possible. And that, that, that's a, a real possibility that something like that mm -hmm. is going to happen. 
And so what is it that... But remember, the, the engineering firm is not... Uh, there, is a, there is a mis... I think there's a miscommunication here. And, uh, I'm going to just quarrel with one piece that you've got in your report, okay, that you handed out. Uh, and that is the very last paragraph uh, where it says that we will provide a recommended site based on criteria set forth. Actually, what they're going to do is tell us if each of these sites is feasible and what it would be required for that site to be used. They are not going to tell us which site. Uh, the board itself is going to make that decision, and the kinds of questions you're asking will clearly have to be involved in the final decision. Okay, this is just a first cut from the engineering firm. And I think there's some misunderstanding because of that. Can I ask that yes. question? Too? I mean, I, with the senator, I don't understand what the point of a demographic study on a site that has already been selected would be. All it would tell you is, well, no, no, it's not a question. You, you, you all are not. You are. <laughs> you all are hearing what you want to hear, not what I said. Let me let me re let me repeat it. Let me repeat it one more time to see if I can't get around what you're talking about. What we're talking about is the engineering firm is going to give us reports on these three study sites. Now, they may come back and say one of these is just not going to fit. You're just not going to be able to make it work. The infrastructure doesn't work, whatever. They can certainly tell us that. Once we look at those and if we can get Charlie to actually then add to that, then we can we can prioritize the sites, okay? But the demographic and, study, but the demographic study then, then no no no. What we would do is you would do the demographics on that on your first choice. If that does not work for you, you move to the second. What I'm saying is, just because we start looking at the at the priority site doesn't mean that that ultimately will be the final site. All these other things have to be considered. So if you could look at the site and say, well, put the demographics here. Okay, they're not going to work. Let's go to okay. That's exactly right. Thank you. That's what I was trying to say, and I'm sorry I just flat didn't say it well enough. Okay. Let me just also point out, when we do our evaluations, we're looking at each one of these sites. We'll have conceptual sites. Those conceptual sites will have cost estimates. Obviously, one site is going to be cheaper than the other yeah. in the long run. So yeah. it's very likely that they may go to that site first and if it doesn't work, okay, well, let's go to the next site. So I think that's yeah. the evaluation process. So you could possibly end up going to demographics on more than one site. Absolutely. And so I, I guess the question is, why wouldn't we just do it all up front? I mean, why would the human factor be a big like Have you seen our... Have you seen I don't want to say why. But listen, but I, think, I think what you all want to be reassured is that we are not going to ignore the human factors. And I think that's what the senator is saying to us, and we're not. And that, that, that's, that's where we are at the moment. Now, how that comes out, we'll see. Yes, sir. One last question, and then we need to move on. Off the board a little, a little, I don't know, I just want to offer a little neighborly advice. The most important thing we want to get assured of is this process. Mm -hmm. And thus far, just from what we've heard today, it doesn't seem as though we can trust this process. So if you can't trust the process, then how can you trust anything? What part of it do you not trust? Because, because you're, saying, you're saying one thing, and you're coming back and you're saying something totally different. No. But again, there's no, 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 we just want to say that in, in, a, in a situation like this, you want to have trust. This, I think it's really important that we all trust each other. And unfortunately, at this stage of the, at this, this stage of the game, we don't trust each other. Because this doesn't, none, of this, none of this really makes sense to us. Because pretty much, he just already told us that he's already eliminated one site, whether he knows, knows it or not. We already did you, one site. I, he, so far as I know, he did not say that he had eliminated a site. He just said to come apart and make a Memphis on the floor. No, that's not. No, no. See, you're not listening carefully. What he said. That what he said was that if you choose that site, you may end up having to have more than 30 acres because you'll have to accommodate the flood pain, which is part of it. He did not say that site was eliminated. I'm sorry. You've got to listen to what people say and not interpret. That's what I can do. All you say. Yes. You, the board, and everybody. You, 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 you all talk very sensitive to us. I'm going to ask you this, and I don't want you to be offended. Okay. 
We're going to be sitting here meeting several times. You know, more and more meetings. Yep. And I'd like to ask you to be a little bit more sensitive with your words because after all, these, you know, this is our livelihood. We understand. And no one else up there talks to us the way you do. And the only thing I'm asking you, if you can just look deep in your heart, be a little kind with your choice of okay. words. Okay. We can certainly try. I'm trying to do that, but obviously I've not made it as well as we would like. Okay. We will make every effort to do it. And that make it a little bit better for us, okay? Okay. Because we're very, we're very sensitive about this situation. I understand. And, and we want to work with you, but you all up here, not taking anything from you, I thank you. Because when you speak, I can get it. But when you speak, I can get this. Okay. You know, just, 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 but you have to understand, we, we, we are, what we are trying to do is to give you the facts as that. we know them. I understand and we can't go beyond that because we don't know beyond I, that. But it's not what you say. It's how you say Okay. It. All right. Fair you enough. And you just, okay. You know, I'm, I don't, I don't want okay. to Fair enough. Just, I hear you. It's okay. I don't take offense by that. Yes. One last question, and then we've got to move on. I just wanted would it be possible, because what I'm hearing is, before any, any decision is brought to the community, right. they would like to know that some of the information that Mr. Gall was talking about was taken into consideration Correct. from day one Agreed. on all the sites. Mm -hmm. And is there any way, without spending a lot of money, because you've got neighborhood associations that can gather a lot of informal but important information that might be helpful to you all. Most of the people that in homeowners associations, they can tell you whether there's a widow that lives there, whether it's homeowner occupied, That's a good or whether one. it's rental, or whether somebody from you know Schenectady, New York owns it, or whatever. Could that be a helpful way for you to get some information, some demographic information about spending a lot? Very possibly. Yep, very possibly. Because and all of the and all of the neighborhood uh, uh, leadership have been very cooperative, so that would not be difficult to do. Yes. The commission of state lands can get you out Yeah, you can get it from the defense. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I'm going to take one last question because he has not had a chance back there. Dr. Good, uh, the University District Development Corporation has a website with a map set up for okay. two of the areas that are in the study site. It's a click and point. We can make it available. So Great. Shows <laughs> That's excellent. Okay. We'll, we'll afford that to you. I don't Appreciate know if we can serve the four skills database, but we can see about that. Okay. I'll be glad to speak with your technical person. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Let us move on. We've, I think, had a lot. Everybody's had a chance. But the, the, the issue on the table is the motion to uh, offer to uh, Charlie Dietz a contract for our consulting work. Uh, any other comments from the board itself or questions? If not, uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, it's a unanimous vote that we will indeed uh, try to engage Charlie on the conditions that uh, uh, Dixon has set out, okay? Uh, and we will want, if he agrees to it, I assume we'll just put his contract up on the website so people can see it if they'd like. He would be the one that's going to have two visits, right? That's two correct. Visits, two visits, yeah. not exceed over $10,000, right? Right. Okay. And he's the one that's 34 years in the research park. So that's so him. Mm -hmm. That's him. And like I say, if he, if he agrees yeah. okay. and we get a signed contract with him, we'll put it up on the website okay. that people can take it. Oh, yeah, he was here with the Angle group. That's, here in town. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the reason we'd like very much to have him back. Does he have a website? Ah, that's a good question. I don't know whether he has a personal. Well, just, just, go, just go on and look up Dill's Dil Consulting and see if he's there. I just don't know. Yeah, it's okay. Sure, look him up. No, look him up. No, look him up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Please keep this in mind. There's a need for rental properties in communities. Not all rentals are bad rentals. Not all rentals are bad landlords. So please keep that in mind. Just because we, we, rental property doesn't mean that the people living there are more or less disposable. 
we understand that. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. I have a question. Uh, I don't know how this uh, goes, but this is mainly about uh, the Supreme Court has to include something? Is that going to be included in the city? He, he actually has offered us information which is very valuable and we'll use it. Oh, okay. But, uh, see, okay. But yeah. you were talking about the $10,000 but then yeah. you still are trying to do the three. Now, well, whoever we, both, but the, both the authority and our consultant will need the information that he's offering. And he's just and he's just offering it to be able to get it much easier than we might otherwise do. Yeah, just one. Yeah, just one. Uh, we also had a request. Is Joe Biz, uh, Busby here? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. We have a second. Let me just take care of one last piece of business, Joe. Yeah. I was trying to. I, I wanted to suggest how we might coordinate. Okay. Uh, Excellent. With our board meetings. Excellent. And uh, and also with the report, uh, this initial report uh, uh, of the preliminary concept uh, review of the engineers. They will. Uh, Jerry Kelso just told us they'll be ready next month. Our, our meeting normally would be May 9th. I checked Mr. Bilk's schedule. He is not available Neither May 6th or 11th. So if we slipped our meeting one week, we can do that. Instead of having it May 9, if everyone on the board's uh, agenda would commit, we can have it May 16. I would, I would like to, to, to do that anyway. I will be unavailable on the 9th. I have a commitment in Washington, D.C. I'm going to have to make. That, so. that would probably allow us to get Mr. Dukes here where he could hear the engineering report. Agreed. And at the same time, he would have already made the tours right. of, of the sites to be familiar and listen, be, be able to absorb okay. what the engineers are telling us for their first concept review. Okay. I think it would be a lot more productive for the first visit if we slip one week. Oh, I agree with that. I think that's excellent. You want to make that as a motion, Dixon? That we move yes, the uh, date uh, to the sick, uh, and we'll put it out on the website. Everybody knows the date has been changed. I move that we change the May meeting from the regularly scheduled meeting of May 11 to May 16th. Okay. Same, same time. Same and, time. And the location we have reserved for May 9, and I hope we can get a change for May 16, is the Bailey Center yeah. uh, there of UALR on 28th Street. Yeah. Well, we'd like to do that if, because of the door closing problem here, because if we run over today, we've got a problem. Okay. Uh, we have a second for that? A second. All those in favor? All right. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay, uh, Ms. Busby, you had requested, you were not able to be here last time and had requested an opportunity to say a few words, and you're certainly on. Uh, he's coming up. What's his name again? Uh, Joe Busby. I think you were a former uh, uh, yeah. leader for this group? Not for this group. I'm not okay. <laughs> uh, I am uh, Joe Busby. Uh, I'm a resident of the Fair Park neighborhood. I'm a past president of Walmart. I serve on a local CDC as vice chair to serve the community, specifically in some of the areas. Uh, and I live within a mile and a half of all three sites. And uh, I want to thank you, Chair Good, and board members. And I know your guiding principle is to improve our city through the development of a technology park for a long And the technology park authority's actions will have a huge impact on the individuals, families, neighborhoods in our community, our city. Okay. But just as a physician's first obligation is to do no harm, you as the Technology Park Authority should also adopt the principle to do no harm. The three study sites have families which will be thrown into financial peril if the board does not carefully work out uh, the details of the property acquisitions. I shared this with the board and I apologize to the audience. I'm I could not get my board to let me make more than just a few copies, but I share this with the board as specifics of what's going to happen in a scenario that is quite probable. Considering the fact that the average household income for the 72204 zip code, which all three sites are in, and it's generous, it's 29900 and some change. That's from the U.S. Census. The average home price that can be purchased from a household with an 
income of $30,000, and I'm sure Mr. Clay can concur with this, is about a three to one. So they can buy about a $90,000 home. The average cost of a residential home in Little Rock is $139,000. Year to date, the county uh, has been $188,000. That means that you will make homeless some of the people and families within the land acquisition if you do not hear for the do not harm piece. But there is a simple solution. The morally right thing to do, and it will be easy for you as a board to do this. Just as the US, U of A made a morally right decision last night, you the board of the technology work to make a pivotal decision today for the park well these fears of these people. We the neighbors of the city of Little Rock's technology park beseech you to adopt a simple social contract. One that will spell out the fairness that you'll deal with the citizens. And I share that with you. This is not a play for this document. It does not bind you to any one thing. It gives the intent of what social direction will go so people will have no fear of it. It will install trust. The basic principles is to provide uniform, fair, equitable treatment of persons whose real property is acquired or those who are displaced. To ensure relocation assistance is provided for all displaced persons to lessen the emotional and financial impact. To ensure that no individual or family is displaced unless decent, safe, sanitary housing is available within the displaced person's financial means. To be open to the public in all matters concerning the Technology Park Authority's authority, including the requirement of financial disclosure. To encourage and expedite all acquisitions by agreement without coercion, and to public sh publicly share the te Technology Park Authority's logic, criteria, consideration of facts, matrix, and any other decision-making process. By adopting this social contract today, you will lay aside all the fears that you've heard, which causes the resistance that you're seeing today and in other meetings. Your name is to ask that you adopt a social contract. I've also been asked to share with you the city director of this ward that all three sites are in. Ken Richardson has read this and he adopts and endorses the social contract as we ask that you do. Thank you. Comments from the board? I have lots of comments. Uh, are we to go through the comments tonight? I think what we probably ought to do is that uh, is to take this under consideration. I think it's an extraordinarily nice piece of work, uh, and let the board have some time to think about it and see what they wish to do, um, uh, and then come back to this group. Dr. With, Rubin, could I ask yeah. that I make this available? Sure. With whichever oh, absolutely. Works? And have yeah. we possibly put it up on the website? Everything that comes up here is going to is is public information, so yeah. you may I'll do that. Still okay. All right. And um, there's a lot. Of, there, it binds you to know the one specific action. Agreed. But it gives you clear intent that people will understand mm -hmm. that you do not want to displace people. Right. Thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, any last questions and then we're going to adjourn here. It's now five minutes over and let's hope our door situation has not accelerated out there. Uh, one thing I do want to remind you is the website is up and running and all of the documents that we have and all of the information meetings and so forth are on that website and it's www. LR Little Rock uh, capital letter LR techpark.com okay let's move we adjourn all those in favor good deal yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>